Hi, this is Kyle from Radio Graphics Supply, and today I'm going to show you how to cut this larger than the mat. If you've seen the video of me applying this to our studio wall, it's much, much larger than the mat, so I'm going to blow this up and break it apart so you can understand how I got to such a large image, and I cut it on the silhouette, the 12 inch one. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out so I can show you what I got set up here. So right here, this blue square is the size of the wall that I was, I'm putting it on. So it's 92 inches wide by 82 inches from the floor to the ceiling. Now I do have a counter in front. So this black square kind of represents the counter. That way I know what kind of workable space I have, which is right here. So I want to just Blow this up. That looks good. So now, this is the image. This is going to go on the wall without the counter, with the counter. Um, there we go. So now we have this. This is the size that I wanted. So it's going to be 36 inches tall by 47 inches wide. Obviously, I can't cut this in one shot with the silhouette. So I'm going to have to break it down, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing, because this isn't grouped, I'm just going to, I'm going to group these, the graphic supply and the two lines, because this I can cut at once, because it's three and a half by 46. And then the ante up is 8.1 by 47, so I can cut this at once, so I'm going to group that too. So basically I just broke apart the images, everything that I could cut by itself, and then piece back together on the wall. Now... This is a little different here, as this A won't fit on the 12 by 12 mat, won't fit on the 12 by 24 mat. So I'm going to show you how to slice this and create an overlap so that when you're butting it up on the wall, you're not trying to get an exact seam. And if you've seen the video of me applying it, this will make more sense. So I'm going to duplicate it. Twice. And I'm just trying to get it so it's lined up as good as I can there. Okay, so now that I have my image duplicated, right out, generally on the same line, you're going to want to draw a box. And I'm going to keep this to about 11 inches tall. And the width doesn't really matter yet, so I'm just going to place this here. I'll just shrink this up. So what's inside this box is what's going to cut here. So if I duplicate it and then move this box here, now I'm going to cut this piece. Now what's important here is the distance between here and here is what's going to be the overlap. So as you can see, this one's going to get sliced here, and this one's going to get sliced here. So that'll actually give me a little bit of overlap on the vinyl. So that way when I apply it, it's not just, the edges aren't just resting on the wall together. It's overlapped, and if there's any shrinkage or expansion of the vinyl over time, it'll just do it together and it won't separate. That'll help create, you know, pretty decent longevity in your vinyl. So now that I have these two sections, I'm going to want to highlight everything. And then you want to go to the Modify panel. And then you're going to hit Crop. And when you crop, it takes away the parts that you don't want. And then it creates this little box here where the overlap was. You can just go ahead and delete that. And then, oh, you want to weld this, or not weld, uh, group this together. And then as you can see, let me color this a different color. As you can see, there's an o a little overlap now. So that way, when you go to cut... 
See how that's over it was overlapped. So then when you cut this and then apply it, you'll have that tiny bit of overlap and it will um, seam up nice and it'll, it'll hold up a lot better that way. So now setting up your mat. Okay, so I got this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. Obviously, you know, I'm not going to cut each letter and I'm not going to separate all that stuff. So I'm going to go up into the page section. And in the page section, I got the Cameo, the cutting mat is 12 by 12. So I'm going to cut without a mat. So you just want to turn your cutting mat off. And then your media size. Your media size is what size of vinyl you're using. So I'm going to go with custom and the height I'm going to keep at 12, but the width, I usually just set it for 60 inches. <clears throat> so now you got your media size. So you're going to set it to custom and then I'm going to change, change the orientation so the arrow is, is over here and then I'm going to change the width to 60 and that'll that gives me a five foot well f it'll be a 59 inch cutting area so now I can go in here and I can place this and I can send this to the cameo and uh, it'll cut it see how it's all ready to go and then once this is done. I'm going to swap that out. Put this in. Actually I could probably nope, can't quite cut those together but could cut this one and then put this here and then this here and then cut these two at the same time. That makes sense. Uh, let me know in the description if you have any questions. Um, it, please go watch the the video of me applying this to the wall. This video will probably make a lot more sense if you've seen the application video first. If not, you know th this is still valuable to break it up. I also have another video of me breaking down a, a three-color Spider-Man in the same process. So I'll link those in the description as well so you can find them easily. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.